Well, pull up a chair and set a spell here at Tales from SYL Ranch Short Treks, the vlog cast that reminds you to always know where your towel is. And I'm your host, Bill Stone. Now, as many of you probably know, Gillette has released an utterly misandrist commercial. And I was prepared to completely ream out Gillette. I mean, after all, they did release a misandrist video and on my birthday, my 54th birthday, no less. And I asked myself, is this how Gillette sees the world? I mean, are they just virtue signaling like all the other social justice warriors? I mean, what amazing gall to portray all men as misogynists. But my gut, my cooler head that prevailed, and I sat back and I thought about it for a while. It just didn't make any sense. I mean, why would Gillette see the world this way? I mean, it's obviously ridiculous. And then I realized that the answer had been staring me in the face the whole time. There's only one reason that they could view the world in such a distorted way. And that's this. Gillette's corporate culture is fantastically misogynistic. I get it now. I get it. And I have sympathy. All the men at Gillette are misogynists. So please, if you're a woman and if you work for Gillette, or Procter & Gamble, I urge you to come forward with your story. Now, no doubt, I understand, you would face significant repercussions if you went public, and I totally understand. Your bosses might fire you or, more likely, demand additional sex from you. And that's why I'm prepared to tell your story for you. If you come to me, I will tell your story. You can remain completely anonymous. I will never divulge your identity nor enough details for your disgusting bosses and co-workers to figure out who you are. However, I obviously can't support a company that discriminatory. A company that its male employees catcall the females, grope them, and force them to have sex with their bosses. I mean, I just can't support that. So, effective immediately, I will cease buying anything made by Gillette and its parent company, Procter & Gamble. Your corporate culture is just too toxic. But, ladies who work for Gillette, I urge you, please, bring me your story. The only way things will ever get better is if the world finds out the truth about your horrifying work environment. If you can't do that, I would urge you to quit your job as soon as possible. There are other companies out there, ones where your male co-workers won't grope you and won't force you to have sex with them. The entire world isn't like what you see in the commercial. It's just Gillette. So I also urge my viewers, please cease using Gillette and Procter & Gamble products as well. As long as we support these companies, we are supporting a culture of rape. And to that end, there is a link in my description box and scrolling on the lower third to a Wikipedia page that lists all of Procter & Gamble's um, products. Please, please, I urge you to stop buying them. The only way to force the company to stop its horrifying abuse of women is to hit them in the pocketbook. But ladies who work for Gillette, please, please try to come forward. If you can't, my viewers, please stand with me. There are thousands of women who work for these companies who are being abused right now. There are no doubt some being raped by their bosses as I speak. So please, please, please stand with me, please. And that's the time, all the time we have today. So please tune in on Friday where hopefully I'll have something more positive to talk about. Until then, this is Tales from SYL Ranch, the vlogcast that reminds you to always know where your towel is. And I'm your host, Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.